join kids hat family Yay! I beat you. I'm better at chess than you. In fact, I'm sure I can beat anyone at this game. Calm down, Tofu. You're just saying that because you're jealous that I beat you. Actually, I'm saying it because you are sounding like the red rose. The red rose. Once upon a time, a red rose bloomed in a garden. Look at that red rose. It is so beautiful. It is just perfect. I wish even I had a beautiful flower. How do you say that? Everyone has their own good quality. It is true. I am the most beautiful. There is nothing as beautiful as me. I don't know what I am doing in this garden. Why do you say that? Because it is the truth. Look around. Look at the cactus there. So hard and thorny. In fact, I'm going to try and move away from it right now. The rose tried a lot. but could not move away from the cactus you are so proud of yourself but you forget that you have thorns too one day you will learn to appreciate others for what they are it is okay sunflower there is no need to get angry about what the rose says The days went by and summer came. It was dry and hot with no sign of rain. The rose was the most affected by the lack of water. But it often saw birds go to the cactus and dig into it with their beaks. What are they doing to the cactus? The cactus has water stored in its leaves. The birds are drinking the water from it. Doesn't it hurt? It does, but cactus doesn't mind. I know you are very thirsty. Maybe you can ask him too. Humbled by what it had just learned, the rose asked the cactus if it could have some water too. I am very thirsty. May I please have some water? Of course. Why didn't you ask me earlier? You can drink as much as you want. The birds will bring it to you in their beaks. Thank you so much. The rose's pride was now broken. It accepted the water from the cactus and changed the way he behaved with the other plants. You are behaving exactly like the rose plant that is fooled by its excessive pride. Ah, uh, yes, Tia. I understand now. I am extremely sorry. I did not realize that. I will change the way I behave. Thanks, Tofu. Hey, Tia. Where were you? Everybody has left. I was waiting for you. I'm sorry, Tofu. There was something that I needed to take care of at school. What happened? Some mean kids are being unfair to my friend Gemma. I found out that they've planned to trick her into doing all the work and take the credit for it. Oh, that's so bad. What will Gemma do now? 
Oh well, thankfully Gemma is a smart girl. She's like the little red hen. What? Did you just call Gemma a hen? Oh tofu, haven't you heard the story of the little red hen? No, but it sounds so interesting. Tell me Tia, tell me please. Okay. Once upon a time, a little red hen lived on a farm with a lazy dog, a sleepy cat and a noisy yellow duck. Hey guys, look, I found some seeds. Let's go and plant them. Who will help me? Not I. Not I. Not I. So the little red hen went and planted the seeds by herself. When the seeds had grown into wheat crop, the hen asked her friends. The seeds have grown. Who will help me harvest the crop? Not I. Not I. Not I. So the little red hen went and harvested the crop by herself. The wheat needed to be taken to the mill and ground into flour. The wheat is heavy. Who will help me take it to the mill and grind it into flour? Not I. Not I. Not I. So the little red hen carried the heavy wheat to the flour mill by herself. She alone grinded it into flour filled it into a sack and brought it back to the farm. Friends, I am very tired. Who will help me bake the bread? Not I. Not I. Not I. The poor tired hen baked all the bread by herself. Once she was done, she asked yet again. The bread smells so great. Who will help me eat it? I will. I will. I will. No way. I will eat all this delicious bread by myself. And so the little red hen ate all the bread by herself and enjoyed it completely. What a clever hen! Wasn't she? That's how you should be. You shouldn't be afraid of anyone and should always stand up for yourself. I agree. I hope Chama knows the story and will do the right thing. Trust me, she will.
Yay! I've won again, Tia. Wow, Tofu. You've really become good at this game. Do you want to play one more round with me? The winner gets the loser's share of Mom's special pie. Mom? Tofu, look at the time. We've not completed any of our chores. Oh, don't worry about it, Tia. It's a Sunday. We'll just tell Mom that we forgot. But we remember now. We should do it now. Hmm. Do we have to? Mom won't know. Tofu, are you suggesting that we should lie to Mom? And who will lie to her? That's the worst idea you've ever had, Tofu. And you're talking like the little mouse. Uh, the little who? Belling the cat. That's a story that I want to tell you in this context. Once upon a time, the many mice that lived in his store troubled a grocer. These mice are spoiling everything. Today they pierced holes in the grain bags. Oh dear, what should we do? I don't know. If the villagers find out, they will stop coming to the store and buying things from me. Oh no! What will we do then? Our business will be disrupted entirely. I agree. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you get a cat for the store? A good strong cat will eat the mice away quickly. And new mice will be afraid to enter the store out of her fear. Hmm, that's a brilliant idea. I will get one first thing tomorrow. The next morning, the grocer went and got a big strong cat for his store. Just as his wife had said, she pounced at the first sight of mice. The mice were taken by surprise. Our brothers have been attacked and eaten up by this cat that the grocer has brought. We all should be careful from now on. As the days passed, The movement of the mice became restricted. They always lived in fear of the cat and were unable to get food and supplies for their families from the store. If any of them ventured out, the cat ate them. This distressed the mice very much. They made many plans to avoid and escape the cat but failed miserably. We are losing out our brothers and sisters to this cat. Something must be done. I have a simple plan, but I am sure it will be successful. We just have to put a bell around the cat's neck. Every time the cat will move, we will hear the bell ring first. This will give us enough time to escape her. That's a very good idea. Good thinking, brother. We should arrange a bell immediately. Yes, I agree. This is a very good plan. 
But I have just one question. Who will bell the cat? Suddenly, there fell a hush over the excited mice because none of them had the answer to the question. None had the courage to risk his own life to bell the cat. And so it remained that the cat was never belled. So you see Tofu? It is one thing to just give out ideas and another to actually go ahead and do as you've said. Yes dear, I am ashamed of what I suggested. I said it without considering whether it was right or wrong and possible or impossible. Come, let's go and finish off the chores. I am glad you understood that Tofu. Now let's start with putting a For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.